Hello everyone, this is the artist on her very first voiceover. I know I'm not your particular person to talk to, and I am not used to talking out loud to total strangers, so I apologize if I sound a little nervous in my voice. I have tried many times to get used to the idea of talking to people I've never met and I hope that the ones that are viewing this video will at least give me the chance to show my artistic side to what I love to do the most. I hold art, especially digital and painting, anything that's really close to my heart because I've loved it since I was a kid. I know for many people this is no surprise. There are so many amazing artists out there, some I've watched videos for already on YouTube, and I guess you could say they gave me the inspiration to try something different. I would love to do more of these kind of videos if I have the time, so if you are willing to listen to my random babble, I will do my best to tell you a little bit about myself in as small as possible, I guess. As far as you can tell from this video right now, I'm just doing the line art process for my next project. And as I, you could probably notice very easily, I am very hesitant about my lines. I usually have to make sure they're just perfect, which is usually how it happens. Other times I pretty much black out an area like I just did there with the diamond and cancel out a few pieces just to make it a perfect shape. But most of the time I am very slow when it comes to art, especially digital because I'm using a flat tablet which doesn't have any display to show. So it took me a while to get used to that process in truth. And I know there are a lot of other artists who have done the same. I only hope that by doing this that I give people a little bit more in, uh, what's the word, in depth I guess about me. And if you, the viewers, have any ideas for my next projects, it would really, really help me out because there are times when I'm in a big slump, which I'm sure a lot of artists are. Lots of people usually have, lots of artists have art blocks and I am no different. There are times, I also want to apologize for not posting a lot of videos in quite a while. I know the people that, that have subscribed to my channel have been patiently waiting for my next video and I do apologize because as much as I'd love to continue doing my art non-stop I still have my daily life to worry about because as for some artists who have the time I am unfortunately not have the luxury of that so I hope with great a lot of anticipation to see how you, the viewers, see how this goes. I will do everything I can to try and post as many videos. I don't want to stop doing that. I want to continue showing people my artwork. I've even wanted to mention that I have a Facebook page which you will see in the link below that will show you the artwork that I am recently now have. I try to make new product but it's not that easy when you're pretty much limited with time much like right now which I am sorry. I try my best to make it possible to make as many videos as possible but it's not easy. I know there are people out there who would love to see more. I have been, have had quite a few comments in the past where they've suggested other videos. 
but mostly it's just been dead silent, which I don't expect. I don't expect you to respond quickly. I know it's been done many times with speed paints where there's new artists and quite amazing ones at that, which are probably 10, 20 times better than me, which I'm not going to deny. I'm still a learning, it's still a learning process for me to be able to do any artwork. I learn new things from all the other YouTubers that I have had the pleasure of watching. I will try everything for the first time. I even test things out. I've experimented on different paint tools. I've tried different styles at the beginning, but I've pretty much stuck to my drawing style that you see here. I'm not going to deny that I am slow with all, with everything, really, and it's no surprise that my style slightly changes just just a, a, few, a bit, but I try to make sure that I am keeping to my original style as much as possible. But then again, what is original anymore? It would have been considered original way back, but now there are people who have mixed different styles of their favorite cartoons, anime, Disney, anything really. And some of us have our strengths and some of us have our weaknesses. For me, I can't deny that I have a weakness for human anatomy. I, before I, all this, I was pretty much struggling for hands. I'm sure there are a lot of people who've had that problem. And it was only thanks to the program I'm using, which is Clip Studio Paint EX. And it was also thanks to the, the, mo the 3D modeling that they have programmed into it that I was able to know how to do hands properly. I've even done references. Don't be afraid to do references because I've heard that many times from many YouTube artists that have said that. Because reference is pretty much your best friend when it comes to trying to do a gesture, trying to do a pose of your favorite character, creating an amazing piece. I will say that my strong, my strength would have to be landscapes. I've loved doing landscapes, especially those of forests, which I am giving a little bit of a spoiler, but that's what the background for my character is gonna have. And I hope you will watch it through the entire thing instead of just skipping to the end, which I'm sure a lot of, of viewers do. I'm no different, to be perfectly honest. But most of the time, I watch the video through it all. I see the little tricks they, that the artists do and how they manage to make their illustrations just so amazingly done. I will say I am not used to the whole aspect of criticism. I've mostly been getting positive but I know there are quite a few people out there who would easily do negative as well because everybody has their own opinion when with what they want and I will not argue with that. So I hope that you, the viewers, enjoy watching my videos. I don't mind just getting views, but I would really appreciate comments, hitting that like or dislike. I am open to both. I just want to know what you think of my art. It gives me a little bit of positivity to know that people appreciate watching my videos and how they react to the end result. That's all I'm asking really. <laughs> so if you can enjoy the video so far and you've made it this far to it, to this one right now, thank you very much for listening to my random babbling. I know it's probably not something you would normally hear in a very long video like this. I'm just trying to show my side of everything. I hope that I will have more followers in the future. That would be amazing, but even just having a few followers is more than enough for me. I am just a pre- I am just- I am just overjoyed to have at least a few followers and subscribers that are willing to take their take the time out of their viewing of other videos to see mine as I said before I am open to suggestions if you've watched most of the videos I have already on my channel then you will have 
you've seen what kind of art I love to draw digitally. And if you have suggestions that I haven't already thought of, it would be a big help to me to creating a list of projects. And so yeah, please subscribe to my channel, and like or dislike, whatever you want. Please leave a comment in, uh, in below. And as I said before, I do Facebook and Instagram. So click on the links below if you want to see any of my previous illustrations of amazing art that I believe is amazing. And also some of the art pieces are on sale. So please check it out if you feel like purchasing anything. I'm not going to force you. So yeah, enjoy the rest of this video and ta-ta for now.